Hello guys, uh, here we are again and with the fundamentals of Gatman Flush course and uh, this will be the uh, seventh session of our course and I hope that till now you have understood and acquired those discussions and those aspects that we have discussed about presently and um, we are going to continue our course with more uh, advanced subjects and um, in this session we may continue uh, our discussions about the processing tolerance that we have had in the previous session and where we uh, finished our session by uh, um, showing you some examples in this session I will continue those, those examples in more detail uh, I want to show you some uh, illustrations in this regard and I want to make you uh, more uh, familiar with the concept of Gatman Flush and uh, show you uh, the areas between different uh, panels of the exterior body of the vehicle where you can see the Gatman Flush uh, better um, I've um, already showed you them but I guess uh, now you have a wider view, you have a better view of uh, what happens there and uh, I guess it would be really fine to show you them again with another point of view and this will help you to understand the nature of gap and flush more as I told you in this session we will have the process intolerance with some concrete examples then we will start the stack of analysis and its meaning, its definition, its basics then we will speak about the um, tolerance analysis techniques uh, which there are some uh, techniques, some uh, formulas, some methods to do and conduct the to tolerance analysis and then uh, you, I will show you the uh, fundamental cases uh, in which we uh, start doing tolerance analysis and stack of analysis with them and uh, finally we will establish the stack of analysis and this will be our seventh session uh, topics but before that uh, let me uh, show you uh, this is the white body I told you that this is uh, the BIW uh, but let me uh, show you a higher level in which you can see the exterior body of the uh, vehicle uh, that's it you know, look, uh, this is the same vehicle and uh, it is this uh, exterior body all the exterior body uh, components and parts you see that uh, here uh, we have uh, metal ones and non-metal ones and even at the lights uh, like the headlight here uh, which is this and uh, the tail light here okay let's uh, take a look at the gas and flash analysis of this uh, exterior body together okay let's go uh, for example here uh, okay this is the um, front bumper you see that all this area is the front bumper uh, I'm unable to um, separate its color from the uh, rest of the vehicle because each of these components are uh, separated I think it's ICM file and uh, we can do some of the uh, specific operations on that. On that, uh, you see that this is uh, a grill here, and another grill, uh, which is here, and uh, the brand of the vehicle will be placed in this area. Okay, let's see uh, the gap between the grill and the front bumper. You see that the uh, gap here is uh, shown and we may uh, be able to even see its value 
for example uh, okay you see that it is approximately 2.5 because it's not going to show the gap uh, exactly it just uh, shows a approximate value of that uh, the gap between uh, this grill and this bumper is uh, 2.5 And uh, means that it is the uh, overall of the gap and flush. If we want to uh, see the gap and uh, flush separately, we should just uh, do that uh, by uh, putting some uh, planes here so that we can uh, see the flush exactly and see the gap exactly. In order to uh, show you a, a concept of this, uh, operation uh, let me do it roughly uh, for example consider that we uh, extrapolated this um, surface in this way and uh, do the same uh, thing for The upper surface okay consider that this is the real intersection between um, these surfaces and uh, let's uh, show the intersection here okay I don't need to uh, understand this operation. I just want to, we are not going to um, instruct the uh, CATIA V5. We just uh, want to show you that uh, how we can understand the, uh, for example, flashness better. Okay. Uh, now we can calculate the flashness using uh, the distance between this edge and this edge. Uh, okay, you see that it's again 2.5. In this way, we understand that there's no gap between them, and all uh, the um, gap which is observed between them is uh, a flushness and its value is somehow uh, approximately 2.5 in this case okay let's uh, look at the rest of the uh, areas in this way we understood that the, there's not going to be a gap between uh, this uh, grill and the front bumper but there is a flushness between them uh, in the way that uh, when we look at that in uh, this um, view so we can see a gap uh, which is in fact a, a flashness between them okay let's look at the gap between the Headlight and the bumper. Again, you see that if uh, we look at it from this view, uh, we see that there is a flashness between them, understandably. And if we can look at it in uh, this direction, we see that there's a gap again between them. which the value of that is 
uh, unique up to this point but after that uh, the value of the gap and uh, flush uh, may change because uh, some other components is added to this um, complex so that the gap between um, the bumper and the uh, headlight changes in this area you see it differs from uh, this gap the value uh, differs and uh, for example consider that the company uh, have decided this because uh, the stylist uh, is going to decide about uh, these values uh, using his or her experience using some uh, techniques and uh, using some uh, aesthetic uh, qualities yeah, but for example another uh, stylists may want uh, to keep the gap um, unique all um, all around uh, the headlight. Uh, this is another decision, and they may uh, consider some considerations to uh, achieve this goal. Uh, but now, uh, again, look at the uh, gap here, which is the gap between the front bumper and the bonnet or the hood. Which you can see that uh, there is a, a small flashness between them. You see that this, the flashness between them is uh, having a small value, but the gap is more. This is the gap between them. And uh, again, as you can see, it is. Um, uh, unique in all places. But don't worry, um, I mean that in this is the I just uh, going to show you the gap and flash roughly, but in, in the last sessions of the course, uh, I will do uh, I, I will do the uh, sectioning of these areas, all of them, so that you can. Uh, um, exactly see the uh, gap separately and the flush uh, separately and the value of each again um, specifically uh, but now I'm just going to um, give you an, an experience of uh, the gaps and flushness here uh, we see the um, gap and flush between the bonnet and um, the fender this is the gap between the uh, headlight and fender this is the gap between the um, fender and uh, bumper which is not uh, applied here it uh, had to be, for example, at least one millimeter. Uh, but here we do not have any uh, gap and uh, flash specified. Maybe because of some reasons, which, which the stylist may have decided about. Again, we uh, here we have the uh, gap between the rail and uh, the fender between the rail and the door. And between door and fender and this gap is a really important gap because um, it could be observed always uh, without being uh, deliberate um, when you look at the vehicle uh, this is one of the fundamental gap fundamental gaps uh, which you uh, quickly see that in the exterior of the vehicle and it plays a vital role in the aesthetic quality of the vehicle. Oops. Okay, uh, 
again you see that uh, the gap between uh, the fender and the bonnet is remain constant in all uh, the path of uh, you need I mean the boundary between uh, them here uh, you see that this is the glass and uh, understandably because of uh, the wiper um, instruments and equipments here uh, we have a, a large gap between them also between uh, the fender and uh, the glass and between the A pillar and uh, the uh, glass you see that the A pillar is a part of the side body uh, the side of the vehicle, side panel on the top of the vehicle we see that again there is uh, the gap between uh, the roof and the um, a pillar and B pillar, I mean the side panel is because of uh, the assembling of the sunroof uh, the format of uh, flying the gap and flies in this area differs from the uh, rest of the vehicle here you see uh, the gap between uh, the front door and rear door in different areas it differs because there are different mat materials between them for example uh, the material here is a plastic here is um, metal and uh, here as well is metal it's metallic this is the area of the grip which is uh, embedded here Again, you see the gap between the side panel and the uh, rear door. Which this one is again really important because um, controlling that is a little bit difficult here because of the form that the uh, rear door has. Um, you see that um, if you look at the vehicles in the uh, S street, you see that the gap here uh, looks um, a little um confusing uh, because there are some different um fluctuations between uh, the different um shape changes and uh, shape alterations that we have in different areas of that you see again here uh, we have different uh features and shapes on uh the quarter panel and uh, it uh, affects the gap between the rear door and the side panel.